How's everybody doing? So my name is Mark Wills. I am blessed and honored enough to be able to be the mentor to so many amazing notary professionals around this country. And so if you're like, who is this guy screaming, clapping? My name is Mark. I'm the educator of the loan signing system. And every single Monday, I jump on with notaries from around America for absolutely free to help them build their notary loan signing agent businesses. So if you have any questions at all, I am here to support you and your journey. What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm doing barely see your face, girl. Go, go a little bit lower. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So everybody, um, what's your name? Where are you from? And let's have a conversation. I'm from Rancho. Cool. And let's have a conversation. I, I'm barely starting off my business, so. I was recommended for, by another notary for you, with you. Awesome, awesome. You. Well, I don't know if you know, I'm here to give advice or coaching. Do you have any questions? If not, I can help someone else jump on. I mean, the purpose of Mondays is to get any questions answered um, that you may have. And if not, no worries. Yes, join the community. Yes, join the family. Um, but you are on live with uh, 130 notaries right now. Is there anything that I can help you with? Um, any questions you have about the market, anything at all, let me know. If uh, not. I just finished my loan signing. So I got certified with that. I have literally done nothing with the business. So okay. just any feedback you can give me, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it. Look, look, I mean, I, the best thing I can tell anyone who has no experience is the best money you can spend is to pay for somebody else's experience. So I'm not the only notary trainer out there, but my number one advice to everyone brand new is why do this by yourself? You have to learn the five major mortgage documents, purchase, refi, uh, HELOC, seller package, reverse. You gotta know where all of those signatures exist. Once you learn those, then you have to go learn how to go get the business. There's two ways to get business, something through a con called a signing service, and then you can go get business directly through realtors, lenders, and escrow companies. So you definitely have a learning curve. Um, remember, just because you know how to do a closing doesn't mean you know how to get closings. This is a real business. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I don't ever mislead. Real businesses require real effort, but most people don't know what they're doing. So once you understand how to build business, it actually becomes exponentially easier. But yes, every single home in America, a notary has to be assigned to it. Your job is to figure figure out how do I get assigned to these transactions that are occurring every single day where I live. So that was a 30 second breakdown. Um, I would love the opportunity to be on your, on your, on your journey. But again, my, my, my recommendation is to everybody is remember, you got to learn from somebody. So make sure you like their energy, make sure you like their pace, because there's a lot of information that you're about to go through. And did I do that? Do, do that? Okay. In a minute. <laughs> you did. You did great. All right. So for more, more information about my course, just DM me. I'll send you a link or go to my bio, click the link tree. But until then, best of luck and stay safe. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope everybody got a little bit of value out that. If you're looking to be part of the industry, it's very simple. You got to be a notary who knows loan documents and bada boom, the rest happens. So let's go to the next person. Let's go to May Lynn Tiber. What is going on, everybody? Let's go. Chanel Hernandez, the one and only ambassador of Northern California. Hello, hello. Um, what are we going on here? Karina, always good to see you. What's up? All right, let me see. Melinda's not jumping on. Let's go with Busy B Notary. How is everybody doing today? It is rainy and cloudy, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to get on and help you build a business. Busy B Notary, what's up? What's up? Hi. I was like, let me let me take a chance. Let me press the center Let press. me go. Hi you are from looking Jersey. beautiful. How are you? I am doing well. I just wanted to say that I love your loan signing system. My husband and I are part of Busy Bee Notary. So he is certified with you and I'm certified with Not NNA. So um, I started Busy Bee back in May out of a whim because I'm a real estate paralegal in Jersey. I'm a title producer in Jersey and my husband's a real estate agent in Jersey. So we know like real estate Left from right. top to bottom, yes. like in every aspect. So we kind of started sending emails based on what you said, marketing ourselves, making ourselves different than any other satur you know, any other loan signing agent, because North Jersey, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, like, we're doing well, we're picking up steam, we're doing it. I'm like, yes, this is good. But it's still, I feel like yeah. not enough. And I've had my husband go about 45 minutes love to an it. hour away. Love it. Love the market, it, love those it. direct, 
the direct, right. you know, the title company like yeah, to me. Yeah, 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 but yeah. it's still like, I feel like it goes on one one ear through the other. Yeah. I feel like everyone here is like, what can you give me in return for for us using you? Yeah, I love or it. like, how how often should we follow up? Because I, you know, like I said, I do title for during yep. the day, and when I get the notaries texting me, sometimes I'm like, all right, I get it. Right. When I'm bit. Yeah. How do we go about it where we're not yeah. becoming like an annoyance to yeah. others? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh That's my God, it. there's so much to unpack so much. here. I love okay. it. So let's unpack a great conversation. If I miss something, please remind of me of something you said, but I think I got a pretty good picture. So thank you for being so thorough. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you and your husband. I'm like, thank girl, you. you guys are building it. You're getting it. I want to say I love your husband's effort. I mean, why this business is easy to build is because most people won't do the work. So Correct. I love it. Okay. Now what I'm going to say is this though. It's remember, it takes the average person, me and you included, seven times on average, we need to see something before we buy it. Okay. That, so my point is that, that is, you can Google this. So a lot of times students will come in, new entrepreneurs have this expectation, someone should buy them after two times. But like, let's be honest real quick, okay? I can take it, okay? <laughs> How long did it take before you or your husband's like, I'm gonna buy Mark's course. I, I, be honest. How long? Okay, so take? listen. Okay, I'll full just transparency. Yes. I'm. I bought it, and then we didn't complete it till like two weeks ago. And this was I bought it okay. like a year ago. I'll be very so honest. My question was this. No, my question was this. When you decided to buy it, no. did you buy it the same day or did it take no. a no, week? No, 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 no. Okay, so how long? I did kept it going take? back. Maybe I would say a few weeks. I'll be okay. honest. Okay. A few weeks. Perfect. Yep. But BC, that's normal. Correct. But wait, here's the crazy part. You just said you went back a few times before you made the decision Correct. to buy my course. But yet you're getting frustrated that your husband needs to show up two or three times. Do we see the disconnect? I'm trying to coach you. Understood. On right now. Okay. So you I did have the same an thing. you don't have an expectation that you're gonna buy something after two Correct. times, but yet you have an expectation that a realtor, lender, escrow officer, whoever is gonna buy you after two times. Do we have, have do we see how we have to get that online? I guess. <laughs> and so they could realize I'm I, I guess and they until so they realize that I'm worth it, but it does make sense. No, you're right. So okay. so my first coaching is just have I'm gonna keep coaching you here, but I can't coach you the rest if I don't have your expectations in line. So that was the first thing. Correct. There's a lot of times where we go, oh my gosh, I won't buy something after unless I see it seven times, but yet I'm getting frustrated that someone won't buy my service after I know the old so the city on my entrepreneurs but so the first coaching is getting your expectations okay. in life first coaching okay I'm gonna answer everything else but I can't help you if you're getting discouraged about some unrealistic expectations understood very rarely does anybody buy my course the first time I bet you right now there is somebody watching this right now who's been on this for like 10 straight Mondays who still hasn't bought my course but that's normal Correct. Uh, they need to feel me out. I get it, right? And so my point is I need you to have that realistic expectation. Got okay, it. so I'm moving past that, coaching number one. Coach number two is this. There is no, when, when, let, me, let me say coach number two. They made a very specific point of what do I get out of it by hiring you. That is a business 101 question. So what I teach you and your husband is, if you know that everybody operates out of self-interest, you would not have bought my course if you did not think there was going to be a result at the end of Correct. it. Correct. That's operating out of self-interest. That is normal. So my point is this, is you need to be like, look, I get that they need to operate out of self-interest. There are notaries who can do what you do, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. But that's not the question. The question is, what do they get with Busy Bee Notary that they don't get with someone else? So, but the way you answer that is, how can I help build their business? Correct. Okay, so there's a couple of very simple, low hanging fruit. You have an attorney or an escrow office you're working with. Do you know a realtor? Okay. A lot. Okay. My husband is like, that's yeah, my point. Friends. That's my mm -hmm. point. So why are you connecting the two? So what if the conversation was like this? What if your husband walked into an attorney's office, escrow office, whatever, title office, and said, hey, I'm, 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 I'm here with Busy Bee Notary. Look. I know that you you, you, do, you gotta feed your family. And I know the way you feed your family is by getting escrows or, or purchases from real estate agents. So before I tell you why I think you should work with Busy Bee Notary, I wanna really let you know that I wanna support whatever it is that helps put food on your family's plate. So I know five realtors, what is the best way to get you and the realtor together so maybe you can create something for your family? What if that was the 
yourself. But see, the problem is you're going in thinking about you. I want to make money for my family. And you're not thinking, how do I help them make money for theirs? And that's what they're asking. So when they ask that question, what that tells me is you're doing a great job of saying, I want something. Or if it changed the notion now, how we go that's into it. Correct. Exactly right. And so if you go into it, like, and I love that, that clip, I see it processing. <laughs> because if, you're, if your husband walks in and says, look, I know you're here literally to put food on your family's plate. I want to support that, right? It's, it's, it's entering the conversation with I'm busy from busy be notary. So they know you're here as a notary, but then it's not going into the stereotypical next point, which is I want all your closings. Correct. It's going, Correct. going into the next point of like, look, huh, I've been in the industry forever. I know a lot of realtors. What can I do to connect you guys? Do you guys have a sales rep? Do you do your own closings? What do you, how can I help facilitate this? Now the conversation's different. Now you've Correct. spoken to their self-interest. Now they're, they're getting out of it more than anything you can give them. That's more business. You are listen you and i are one smart people it's like we're gonna be smart watch next time i go i'm gonna be like busy be notary and we're gonna sell that point that's right the energy that's actually because people okay. only care about what can you do for them that, that's just the truth correct and what's cool about our business is that we teach we literally we let our clients know this is bigger than us correct this is about we it's not about me okay but you're making it about me that's why you're getting those me answers back understood they were i never thought of it in that perspective that's why you got Yes. coach girl we go every monday last week i was like nervous i'm like should i press the button and today i was like you know what i'm a, I'm a big girl i love it, I love it. Press the so button. here's my answer to you here's the third thing that i remember from your your your, okay. your, your question I'm ready. <laughs> you know is is how often is too often correct and the answer is this if you always can bring value is there such thing as too often that's true does that make sense that's no it does like, yeah. like if you're like mark you go on every hour every day you'd be like no I, I will watch as long as you bring me value correct. right so there's no such thing as me going on live too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if, if I'm bringing value each time. Correct. So if you're going in every Monday to your title companies, you're following up with and you're, the same thing as what can I do to support your business? That's never too much. Now, if you're going in every Monday saying me, 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 um, then I would say you should never go back again. Correct. <laughs> so like flip the script and, and all people, I'll end with this to give someone else on here is, all people want to know is that you can. Correct. That's it, right? Exactly. exactly no. So when I, I teach you guys, like, you know, oh, you know, my signatures, dates, initials, what you're really saying is I care enough that you don't have funding conditions so this funds on time so you can feed your family, get referrals. Like, you got to take it a few steps further. Sometimes I get students who just read the script like a robot, right? I don't miss signatures. Well, why is it important that you don't miss signatures? Well, so there's no yes, funding sir. conditions. Why is there is it important that there's no funding condition? So the loan funds on time and the borrower's happy. Why is it important that the borrower's happy? So they will refer the realtor the next time. So you go from, I don't miss signatures, to their self-interest and why that's important. Saying, I don't miss signatures is missing the boat. You're not telling somebody you care. Understood. So your job, and everybody's listening right now, is how can I communicate I care? I think, call me crazy, you bought my course because you know I can. You do. And I love the energy. Oh, I love it. And the so, success that comes with it, yeah, so. I love, but my, my coaching is show your clients you care and watch what happens. When all you're doing is like, I want a closing, I want a closing, like you're missing the point of business. Business is about two people winning. That's the exactly. loan signing system way. It's not me winning, you losing. And Correct. but, but, but the thing is communicate that so like when you're inside the office it's like hey i want to figure out how both we both win like win. Really tell your husband to say that be like look when you walk in literally have the conversation like i want us to both win so i know i win by getting and assigning and making money for my family but i want to figure out how i can help you win what is that awesome now conversation changes that makes sense it perfect sense I I appreciate that. If my husband's watching, I love you, and I can't wait for you to come home so you can strategize. Because I know I he's love watching. you too, dog. Thank you. Right. Have a good Go one. Bye. <laughs> I hope everybody got value out of that. Remember, business is about a win-win. Communicate that. If you can tell them that you want them to win, it changes everything, dude.
Most of you notaries were not LSS certified going and saying, I want to make money. I want to get rich. I want to make $150 for an hour. But instead be like, how can we both win? I win by getting a signing, but past that, I, how, do, how can I help you win? If that is the sentiment of the conversation, literally the business builds itself. How you Mike, doing? How are you Mark. doing, brother? Hey, doing great, doing great. How you doing today? Dude, A little wet, doing huh? Good. Where, where, where are you calling from? Oh, I'm in Spring Valley over here. Yeah, oh, just, uh, you know, right, east right, of San Diego. That's right, that's right. Waiting for the rain to come yeah, down. That's funny. I'm waiting for the rain to come out here in Point Loma. Talk to me, brother. How's business? Well, well, business is great. So I got a question. I have a, um, a real estate agent that does quite a good volume, but she's up in uh, Long Beach. Okay. And I want to hit her up and say, hey, can you help me out and introduce me to all your uh, escrow officers title and all the people that I need yeah. to be in contact with. But then when I make that, connection how, how do i tell her to make that connection hey this is mikey down in san diego but i'm up here in long beach and i don't have any deals in san diego how do i connect how does that connection get made so i can be in connection with them because i'm sure that escrow company does business down here in san diego yeah, yeah, so i want to see how i can do that and then the second part is if i do make that connection am i traveling up to long beach to the area on a regular basis to contacting these people and uh doing my spiel bringing cookies and all that kind of stuff yeah Okay, first and foremost, it's all the above. Okay. So let me just get, let me get to, let me get a specific action item for the question you ask. So the way she does it is she puts you on an email yes. saying, this is my, literally, this is the quote. This is my go-to notary in yep. San Diego. That's a quote. Yep. She okay. needs to give you credibility. It's not just, here's my, a notary in San Diego. It uh -huh. means that falls flat. Right. So you need to be like, hey, can you put me on an email, CC me, and introduce me as your go-to notary in San Diego. In San Diego, that's, right. That's, that, that is your literal credibility build right. sentence. Okay. Okay. So, because you don't want their Long Beach signings, obviously. Right. Okay. So no. you need to just set the tone that I'm in San Diego. And right. to your point, yes, they're doing business down in San Diego. So okay. once they get in with the go-to, you immediately respond back, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the introduction. Yes, I am Mike down here in San Diego, serve the entire county, uh, right. and I'm here for all of your needs. Now, the real question is what you do next. There's right. a couple options here. What I would do is at the minimum, I would send them something in the mail to say thank you for the time. Whether right. that just be a handwritten thank you card, whether that be a Starbucks, something to show appreciation, okay? okay? okay. Now, because to your point, Going up to Long Beach and showing your face is not a great move. Now, right. it is a good move if you start getting two or three signings a month. But Got in it. the beginning, okay. I would not spend the money because it's just ROI. But what you yeah. can do is the same way you build a relationship with a signing service mm -hmm. is the same way you build a relationship with an out-of-county escrow officer, right? Oh, okay. It's show appreciation, make some, send some cards, right. send right. something in there that shows the appreciation. But 100%. Now, here's what I would also do, is my bet is your realtor, and I think a lot of students sleep on the realtor's contacts with lenders. Uh -huh. My bet is she has a network of loan officers, loan and if officer. I really had a bet, she probably has a San Diego loan officer somewhere in her Rolodex. Bingo. So wow. be like, hey, I also know you probably have some good relationship with lenders. Is there any lender like in the SD, Riverside area, something right. a little closer to me? So don't forget to ask for that referral, because most realtors- because what happens is most realtors need to refer their buyers to a loan officer who specializes mm -hmm. in a VA, specializes in, uh, uh, you know, no doc, but entrepreneur loans. And so right. my point is they'll have like five or six people. My yeah. guess is one of her people will be in San Diego. So then you do the same intro. But the difference now yeah. is you actually go face to face, right? Oh, this right. is my go to notary in San Diego speaking to a loan officer. You're like, oh my God, we come by tomorrow, say hello. And then you're talking to the loan officer to refer you for their go to note, uh, escrow officer in San Diego. In San Diego. Got it. Got it. No. Man, what a winning. Mike, Mark, every, worth I, I, I love your program. It's worth every penny. And uh, we'll see you soon. You're going to see an email from me soon. All right, bro. So okay. Thank you so much, Mark. Let's go. Really what appreciate it. Know, well, thank I, you so I, I much. Everybody heard Mike's call. This is a great, great conversation. That's why I love these lies. If you have somebody who is out of town or out of state, where odds are they may be doing business in your town. LA to San Diego is not a stretch. 
right? It could be like Sacramento to San Francisco. It could be like Dallas to Fort Worth. It could be like Miami to Tampa. Like if there's something that's kind of close, like Tacoma to Seattle, it's not a bad idea to try to get your referrals to refer you business in that town. Remember, they would rather use somebody they know than using a random notary that a signing service would assign. So make sure you jump in. Man, what a good day. Let's go. All right, let's go with Jennifer Jordan, Z Nichols. Hey, notary. Oh, my God. Hi. First up, girl, you are driving. Don't look. I'm not, be careful. Man. Don't look. Okay. I'm, I'm it is raining. Pull over. Over I'm eight something. minutes from my next appointment, so I only have a I have a minute. But okay. um, I, I just had a quick question yeah. for you. Um, I am looking at the at the loan signing system now. I've been I've been doing mobile notary loan signings for about five years. I love it, love it. Transplant to Florida, but I am still dual um, commissioned. So I'm dual commissioned New yeah. York and Florida. Um, because my business, they notary is still up in New York. Uh, primary residence is now in Florida. So, but that's beside the point. My question was your opinion. Now, <laughs> when I do these jobs, I tell you some of the instruction pages that come along with these appointments, me my head and wonder who are they, you know, who, what kind of uh, you're breaking up, you're breaking up. Oh my God. Okay. So I, I'm interested in possibly going into starting a, a signing company, which was my original plan when I first started doing loan signing. How do you feel about um, hiring those random notaries as a signing service? Does it yeah. give you anxiety yes. when yes. you give an appointment yes. to somebody? Yes. Is, is, is it common? You know, I, I see 30 page instructions to notaries and yeah. I just I feel bad for these companies yeah. I'm like well who are you hiring that you have yeah. to put the most basic well the answer is you know a lot of people don't take training that's why loan signing system notaries are the best and so you know what else you're breaking up so I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this offline but make sure you pay attention keep going and keep building up business thank you you're welcome um so look what I would tell you in Bay City Notaries is to hire loan signing system students. That is the best, that's the reason we exist. Um, yes, but if you're gonna start a signing service, I do have a course for that. But the best thing, whether you buy my course for starting a signing service or not, is you gotta, you gotta have a good vetting system. If without a good vetting system, then you're gonna be hiring notaries who don't pay, who don't take this industry serious. But I would always start with getting loan signing system students first, and then everybody else second, but getting a really good vetting system is the most important part of starting a loan signing service. Hope that helped. Sorry, I only heard like every other word, but pull over, get back on. Let's get this bad boy going. Z Nichols, you are up next. Oh, look at I that. I got to pass some over. sun. Look, look, look. Yeah. See the sun? Y'all said, know, there you girl, go. Girl, girl, I'm passing some you, sunlight. So, hey, Mark. Hey, everybody. I know. I know. I can't see. I don't know what happened, but you can see me, right? You can hear yes. me? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I can't see you. I'm going in blind, y'all, so pray with me. But I got my tip back. <laughs> I just had to share that. You you know, so much, so much emotions last week, and I was on there for everything and crying and everything, but it was so much inspiration dropped last week, and everybody has so many wins. But I had to get on here to share this with y'all. Now, I need to tell you, I don't have a question. One day I will because I don't have a signing yet, but it's okay. I'm trying to tell you. It's all right. I'm playing C's, right? Yeah. So I'm out marketing. I got two realtors who list me as their go-to notary, right? Hey, so when those signers come in, I'm ready, right? But um, I, I connected a few to some lenders. So, you know, you're hands-on sharing with the other notary services what to do. You just got to be out there. Be intentional, tell them what you can do for them, and just know that planting those seeds, when things come back, they're going to remember you. And uh, what else can I say? I'm just blessed. I don't know. I'm just happy. Oh, my car broke down. So I've been driving around in my, my other, this is my business truck, guys. I've been marketing in my business truck. You can't let nothing stop you, man. You got to go. If I had a catch, I ain't going to lie, a dag on um, Uber, I probably would if I was pressed. But you got to keep that momentum. You got to go. I had um, also a law office. They, they 
notify me. They didn't have a notary, so I'm literally listed as their um, estate planning um, notary. So I'm excited, right? Oh, and I got my first call, y'all. I got my first GNW. I was ready to use my stamp, but the customer canceled. But guess what? My GP, what is it called? Google Business oh, yeah. Profile. <laughs> it worked because that's how they found oh, yeah. me, okay? So I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't even care if they canceled. They called me. I was so happy. So anyway, I just wanted to share. When I get a, a daggone question, I will one day. But for now, guys, I'm like a newbie. I'm 60 days old in this situation. And you just got to go all in and be trust. Like I said, Mark tell you, if you work the system, it will work. So I just had to just come on here for people who sitting on the fence and not sure what to join, but they're coming on here and they don't know. Y'all got to get in because we are a family, okay? We love each other. We help each other. We support each other. We don't care. So when you feeling down, you just get on that dag on Facebook page like I do, and you're going to be uplifted. So I love all y'all. I love you, Mark. Hey, Heather. And um, Soul, too. So I love y'all. I got to oh, let you go. Well, <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. Dude. I've been mean, keeping in the heat with energy. Here is what I love about you, Z. And I want everybody to be inspired by Z. So she's in Maryland, and in Maryland, you need to get one more level. There's only two states in America that require something called Tippic, Indiana, and Maryland. If you're not in those states, don't worry about it. But here's the bigger point, Z. Is Z believes in invisible growth. What that means is you know your effort is going to where you want to be, even if you don't see it right now. Not enough new notaries believe in invisible growth you got to you, you got to know your effort is working even if you don't see it we are farmers we are not hunters and i will say that until my face turns blue a farmer doesn't plant a seed and expect tree to have fruit the same day but so many signing agents do and that's why you get discouraged not because the system doesn't work not because it's not a real business because you have an expectation to plant a seed and it's a sprout and eat the fruit the same day you have an expectation of drop a seed and have the fruit the fruit be there by the end of the week but z believes in invisible growth she understands even though she can't see the roots she knows they are sprouting she knows they are planting and by the way, this is the mentality of any business owner in America. For some reason, signing agents don't believe or understand invisible growth. But you got to know your efforts not in vain. You got to believe that the system is working. You got to believe if you talk to enough realtors that one will use you. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but it will happen. So what I love about you, Z, is you exemplify the understanding of believing in invisible growth. You are growing, you just may not see it. Yes, you right now, the one on here, trying to get inspired, trying to understand how the business works. You are growing, you always are. So keep believing, Z, you're amazing. Who's next? Let's go. What a good day. Hello. You are Hello. You are on live, hey. what's up, man? Hey, how you doing, Mark? I'm doing good, you tell me how you're doing, bro. What's your name, where are you hey. calling from? Hey, my name is Sabrina. Salaya and me and my wife are taking your course where um, we open up our business already. And one thing, question I have is we are knocking on doors already. We uh, went last week to a real virtual event and there was a loan officer there. And we have fortune to say, hey, look, you know, my wife and I we are a motor group I'm out of Houston, Texas. And we want to introduce ourselves and we want to market, you know, our company. Um, we are experts on loans, any documents. People want your, you know, your clients from, you know, from beginning, from, from beginning to end efficiently without you know having any issues the first thing that came out of the owner's mouth was hey you know i, I, I didn't know you, i like to pick my own person you know so the knowledge is not out there you know for these loan officers space for officers and realtors right, they know that we can pick us first off love the effort okay proud of you guys and you just said you're LSS students so yeah. what i would tell you i'm yes. going to help you right now but remember i have hours of videos on how to approach realtors and lenders you got to watch it the first thing I teach in those is when you talk to a loan signing, when you talk to a loan officer or realtor, you need to educate first, pitch second. That is a quote by me. So remember, if you're not educating that they can pick their own notary, then you've lost them like you already have. So my first coaching is go back into the course that you paid for and watch the, the materials on how to pitch a realtor and the loan officer. It's there, okay? So there's the, here's the training is you got to educate then pitch okay so but here's what i want to coach you on javier is you got to educate two things 
they don't know what they don't know. So let me ask you a question, Javier. Why should they have a preferred notary? Because we're going to be, you know, efficient, you know, we're going to educate the uh, customer how to, you know, walk them through the, the loan signing from beginning to end, you know, explain to them, you know, the, 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 the rates, you know, the, stop, stop, the loan stop, 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 stop. Wrong answer. Why do they, so everything you said was correct, but how does that benefit the loan officer? Oh, because we're going to make sure, you know, that um, my services, you know, keeps getting them, you know, more, more work, you know. So that when at the end of the day, you know, when the you know escrow officer gets the document, there, this process, you know, will go efficiently, and the funding can go through without any problem. Do like you see that that's the, that that needs to be the conversation? You gave me everything else, but the meat. They don't care that you can walk through the signing flawlessly. What do they care about? To get the funding right away. Okay, and and what is the funding equal to then? The closing. And the business, you know, goes through it efficiently, and, and they can get, you know, on with the next, uh, you know, next like closing. Okay, keep going. What else is that? Doug? What else? Doug? See, what I'm trying to coach you, Javier. This is the conversation. You're missing what they care about. So the reason you're getting these, these, this look is because you're not talking about what they want. Does that make sense? A lot yeah. of notaries go, "Hey, I'm Javier. I don't miss signature dates and initials," and they're just like. Uh, the title does that. You have not given them a compelling reason why they should even listen to you. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So the conversation should sound something like this. Hey, I'm Javier, your notary public group. Um, so you may not know that you can pick a notary, but look, if you don't pick your own notary, I, I want to let you know what you're missing. You know, a good notary like myself will really make sure the signing is flawless so you can get a review. The better the closing, the more reviews, the more you get business. I know if I don't make a mistake, the faster the funding, so the faster you get your commission check. I know the faster you get your commission check, the happier you are. I really care that you get paid quick. I care that you get referrals. I care that you have a relationship that should be coddled because you've been working with this borrower for three years, three months, excuse me. Did you know, yeah. notice I said nothing about <laughs> signatures, dates, and initials? What's the yep. first thing you told me that you did great? Yeah, yeah, that's that right. right. That's it. Makes sense. Yeah, so just remember, land. like I was, you remember, people only care if they have interest. So what is, is your job? I'm going to try to make it all about them. That's right. And what do they care about? All those funds you get, you know, you know, soon as you through that account, and if you get on to the next one. Does that make sense? So how do you, Javier, help what you just said? That's what you communicate. Does that make sense? Yes, so sir. you know what the mortgage officer wants. So your job is to to figure out how do I put myself in the middle of this to help him get what he wants because he doesn't realize the notary could do that. Is that That's coaching? Gotcha. Thank and you. Then once you do that, Javier, once you do that, then you go into the pitch of, hey, dude, mortgage officers actually can tell the title company they, that, that they want a, a specific notary. <laughs> You're already getting to point three before point one and two. Does that, does that, does that coaching make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. So you got to skip one and two. It's like asking out your wife on the first day to marry you and on the first day all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you see yeah that, that, that's not going to, that probably wouldn't have worked out. My point, and so that's what you're doing in these conversations. So remember, first off, I don't want it, the, I don't want it lost on how freaking proud I am of you that you're going to loan office and most students, I can't get out the front door. So I'm so proud of that. Thank the you. reason you have a coach is so Thank I can you. coach you, so I can coach you through the next moment. So remember when you're walk, talking to a realtor, it's like, look, you want to sell more houses. This is how a signing agent can help you sell more houses. I'll make sure your current one is going so good. It, 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 you'll get your reviews. You know what? Speaking of reviews, do you have you ever had a notary who will try to get a review for you at the closing table? Oh, you haven't. Well, that's what happens when you let the title company just pick a random notary. See what I did there? Gotcha. So you're like, hey, does the notary that you're letting the title company pick for you uh, get you send you a picture of the closing so you can post that on your social media? Oh, they don't. Huh. 
That's weird. Does that, does that make sense? That makes so a lot of sense. Always, what, I'm, what I'm trying to teach you is remember what they care about. They don't care that you don't miss signatures. They don't care. They care about making more money. Oh, wow. <laughs> so how do you support that? Well, I'll take a picture. Me and my wife will take a picture of the closing table, send that directly to you. So you can put on your LinkedIn, another happy home buyer, another happy closing. Does that make sense? Uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. You know, like we, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to go in there, you know, and try to get, you know, with people in front of them just to present ourselves. But you're absolutely right, you know, um, got to get a little better at that. Right. Hey. I'm proud of you, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of you. And Eagle Eye Signings, I don't know if you see the comments, is a Houston-based signing service. She does tens of thousands of closings. She hires LSS students, so she's in Texas. Hit her up. But, but, but don't stop doing that direct outreach, okay? Remember, I'm going to end with this, dude. First off, I'm so proud of you and your wife, like so proud. Just remember to make the conversation about them and how you can help them make more money. That's the only thing they care about. And if you're just letting the title company pick a random notary, it's hurting you getting reviews. It's hurting you coddling your relationship. And I want to be that solution. That makes Absolutely. sense? I do. Yeah. So I'll do that Thank again. You. Go back in the course, rewatch the videos, but go get them, baby. Let's go. I, oh, my Let's God. Go. What a great conversation with my man, Javier, out in Texas. Woo, what a good day. How's everybody doing? Let's go. Give me a let's go in the comments below. Let's get the energy up in here. Come on. Man, there's not a better business in America, in my opinion, than being a notary signing agent. So proud of you for making the effort to build your own. Let's go. All right, so uh, let's go with uh, Rafaela Rodriguez. Uh, Rafaela, are you there? Yes, I, I can hear you. Always good seeing you. Thank you, Mark. So I have something exciting. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I can't, can't see you for whatever reason, yeah. but I can hear you. Okay. So I understand that when a file gets canceled, we don't get paid. Well, the strangest thing happened to me. They told me that file got canceled, but I got paid for it. How? Why does that even happen? Uh, because you are loved. Uh -huh. that, that is why. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm being dead serious. I mean, whenever you get paid on a on a closing that didn't happen the escrow company literally takes a loss on that. Because think about it, well, think about it logically. If a loan didn't close, did they get an escrow fee? No. No, right, that's how real estate works, right? If a, if a, if a loan closes, does the real estate agent make a commission? No. no. So the fact you got paid means someone really respects your business enough to be like, look, I'm gonna take a loss, so I keep you happy because I'm so appreciative of you, and, and our relationship. So when you get paid on a closed file, that's kind of a big deal because that's le letting you know that you are, your, your relationship is so valued that they're willing to take a loss to give you money. Did that make sense? Yes. It's a beautiful thing. Because remember, we're an independent contractor. So if the file closes, nobody gets paid. The escrow officer just worked for two months, didn't get a dollar. A real estate agent showed houses for six months, didn't get a dollar. The title officer worked for three months, didn't get it because we're independent contract. We only get paid when the closing closes. So when you get paid and it doesn't close, it means your love, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure because I was like, I have it here. I, I Should I deposit it? Should I return it? That's all I was like, okay, let me find out how does this work. Well, what I would do is I would show gratitude and say, hey, I just want, I just want to say that I appreciate you, uh, that, that I got paid on a closed transaction. If there's anything I'd ever do to help serve you and your business, I am your girl. So just thank you. Send them a card. I would just show gratitude. That's what I would do. Awesome. You know I mean? so, thank you. I'm so proud of the business you've built. This is literally like your moment to be like, I want you to reflect like, I got paid because somebody loves my service so much. They want to keep me happy. So I keep taking their files. And so to stay thankful, show gratitude, do the LSS way and keep building those relationships. Thank you, Mark. And then the other thing I wanted to share is um, um, sometimes you know how within seller's package, they pay somewhere between 125 to 175. Um, the strangest thing happened. They pay me more than that. And I'm just like, oh, so these are like 
escrow officers that I don't know, they just appreciate, I guess, your service, so they're willing to pay you out of that range. Right. Is that is that how that works? Yes. I, I think this is a moment, Raph, where you just got to be like, I've arrived. And I like that, that you're exactly right. Like you're, you're finding people who value your business. They are willing to overpay you and pay you on things that haven't even closed. <laughs> like, 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 yes, I just want you to take a moment and be like, Hey, um, I've I'm arrived. you know, just, just that's a moment. And so, um, I, you've been at this for a while, and so I'm just proud of you. And 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 I think sometimes this might be the moment to stop and smell the roses. And like, I put in so much work to be here, and you deserve every minute of it. So Thank you are you. valued by your clients, and that is something that you should be proud of. And so I'm proud of you. And so yes, this is exactly what happened. I mean, what you could do on the on the seller package at overclose is be like, A, I just want to confirm that, you know, I sent an invoice for 150, whatever it was, I got paid 175. I want to make sure this wasn't a mistake. And now it really shows like you care. You know what I mean? So it could be like, hey, I just sent an invoice for 125, got a check for 150. Just making sure that like everything's okay because I don't want to, you know, to take any money out of the funding that should wasn't mine. And so another way to keep building those relationships, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so just like a, so um, either or works, but I, I think that, you know, building it from your heart, which is you have is probably the best move. And so if you get overpaid, just be like, hey, just want to double check that you were, you got me a check on 175 on purpose or whatever the number was. Um, and if I need to cut a check back for $25, no problem. And that just builds more people want to work with people who care, show integrity, et cetera. So, um, that's what I would do as your coach. But, uh, I just want to say that, that I'm sure it wasn't a mistake. And so my, my bet, I bet you a dollar of donuts, you're going to get somebody who says, uh, no, we did that on purpose. You keep the money, but a good way of just confirming that is showing the business you've already built and that is from your heart so as your coach i wanted you to have a moment of reflection and then kind of coach on what i would do so um reflect on your business girl you're proud of you but then just double check they meant to do it uh and then that sends so many different signals of your integrity your honesty your business values um which will get you more business in the long run so that's what i would do awesome thank you so much mark for everything right, let's go Oh man, what an incredible girl. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of you. Yes, you. You're watching this right now, trying to learn more, trying to be inspired. So everybody who's on here, everybody, do me a favor. You, yes, you. If you're driving, do this very carefully. Do me a favor. Put your right hand up just like this. Everybody put your hand up. Is your hand up right here? Put his hand up. Can I get a yes in the comment? My hand is up. Is your hand up? Yes. Okay, good. Hand up. I want you to do this. Are you ready? I want you to pat yourself on the back. That's what I want you to do right now because you deserve it. I don't think enough, enough of us give ourselves credit. So take that hand, pat yourself on the back just like this. Give yourself flowers, right? Every now and then you just gotta be like, man, I'm doing the dang thing. Man, I'm doing the hard work. Man, I deserve what has happened to me. So take that hand that's up. Pat yourself on the back and just have a moment to yourself, like you to yourself saying, yes, I'm doing this. I deserve this. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of my effort. Because we don't do that enough, man. We just work, 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 work. And then we get all mad and everything's not going the right way. When sometimes you can just slow down, pat yourself on the back, man. Tiff, oh my gosh, best day ever. All right, let's get one more person on. Who do we got next? What a good day. So much information was shared. So much love. So much inspiration. I thought there were some very good coaching moments in here. Um, and of course, Instagram is not showing me my invite list. So I'm just going to wrap up. I'm sorry if you put your name on there, but literally it is just a spinning wheel of nothing. And I can't get in and I can't say something. So I'm going to end with this. Uh, man, what a good day. Best day ever. That's right, baby. All right, so I'm going to end with this. I'm going to wrap up with this. Um, this is what I'm going to wrap up with. Um, uh, uh, 
I, I wrap up every single one of these lives with the exact same thing, and I'm going to do it again because I'm going to keep saying this until you get it. That's right, until you get what I'm about to coach. Is that when I say, I believe in you, when I, I say that, what I am hoping you hear is why I believe in you. I, I believe in you because I know how hard it is to make the decision to start a business. I know how hard it is to step out on a limb. I know how it is to block out all the naysayers. Oh, this is your third business. Oh, notaries only make $2. Oh, interest rates this, interest rates that. You block out the noise and you're determined and you are a risk taker, and you are courageous. I know that about you. What I need you to do is know that about yourself. When you're sitting in front of that title office about to walk in scared, I need you to think, you know what? I already do things that take bravery. I already do things that most people won't do. I do the hard things. You're already doing this. So when I say when, when I say I believe in you, it's not because like, oh, this raw, raw, raw speech. It's because I know what it takes to make the decision to be here. And not everybody does it. Not everybody shows up every day. Not everybody pays attention to a live at 12 o'clock on a Monday. Not everybody's going to put money where their mouth is, effort where their mouth is, time where their mouth is. 90% of America works for 10%. I'm going to say this every single time you hear me. You're like, Mark, you said this last week. I've said it every week for the past seven years, and I'm going to keep saying it. Because until, listen to me very carefully on this next point, is you cannot make someone else believe what you don't believe. Let me say that one more time. You cannot make somebody else believe what you don't believe. If you don't believe right here in your heart that you are the best notary, then how are you going to make an, an, a real estate agent, an attorney, a mortgage officer believe that you know you're the best? You've got to believe you're the best, man, because you are the best. And again, it's not a raw, 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 raw speech. 90% of America will not start their own business. 90, Google this. You are part of the 10% of America who believes in themselves enough to build something from scratch. And so when I say I believe in you, it's like, I, I, it's so, so palpable because I know what cloth you're cut from because I'm cut from the same cloth. We are entrepreneurs. We believe in something we can't see. That is our future success. So when I say I believe in you, because I know how hard it is to do what you're doing right now. So I will just end with this. I believe in you so, so much. But I cannot believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Let's go! Have a good rest of your day. Bye, everybody.